Hello students, this is Anusha. Today we are going to learn a very important topic of the physics. The topic is magnetic flux. And uh, very often students are confused about the term what is actually magnetic flux is. So let's learn about it. So first of all the definition I am telling. It is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a surface normally okay this word should be um, very is very important if you are not using the word normally then definition will go wrong okay so i am giving emphasis on this word normally okay so the number of magnetic field lines you know that if there is a magnet a, ray, a, a type of ray or lines and uh, which is invincible will come out of the magnet and that line is known as magnetic field lines so if there is a surface okay whatever the surface let us suppose the, this is a sur this is a um, body okay and this is the magnetic field lines this, this this is passing from left to right okay so there is a surface a very small surface here that is here a square and the surface area of this uh, small uh, uh, part whatever it's it should be infinite symbol small okay it's very very small and the area is del s support okay so the number of magnetic uh, field lines which is passing through this area okay okay that will be given by the product of the magnetic field with the area vector which is which is aligned towards the magnetic field okay that is i am taking the area which the part of the area which uh, are directed towards the magnetic field direction okay so i am taking only that part okay so for that the a term will come out that is cos theta and hence the full expression is b del s cos theta and this is magnetic flux flux is denoted by phi as the flux is very small as the flux is very small so here i am using the term del phi okay now this is b and this is del s cos theta okay and del s cos theta and b uh, we could write the expression like this b dot del s so it's actually a dot product and you know very well that uh, the result of a dot product is a scalar quantity so ultimately we come to a conclusion that magnetic flux is a scalar quantity so if a question comes that uh, is magnetic flux a vector so answer will be no is magnetic flux a scalar quantity so the answer will be yes okay so here uh, b is actually magnetic flux density and in SI system the unit of B is Tesla okay so what uh, will be the expression if I am to find out the total outward flux through this surface okay so to find out the total outward flux I will have to calculate I will have to take the integral of this expression B dot del s so the expression will be like this integral surface integral of b dot del s whatever now we come to the unit the flux has a unit in SI system is Weber okay and in CGS system it is Maxwell and there is a relation between them let us find out the relation the relation between Weber and Maxwell one Weber is equal to one Tesla into one meter square what is one Tesla so it is a magnetic field okay and uh, the total outward flux will be one Weber only when the magnetic field is one Tesla and the magnetic field lines is passing perpendicular to a surface okay and having area one meter square that is unit area okay so this is the definition of the one Weber okay now one Tesla is equal to 10 to the power 4 Gauss Gauss is the CGS unit of magnetic field 
so 1 tesla is equal to 10 to the power 4 goes and now 1 meter square is actually meter has been used over here 2 times and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter that is 10 to the power 2 centimeter so meter square will become 10 to the power 4 centimeter square 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 4 will become 10 to the power 8 now gauss centimeter square is actually maxwell okay now the, now the last thing is suppose there is a surface it's here in the figure there is a box and uh, some magnetic field lines is going from left to right okay so it is also passing through the it is also passing inside the box so this is the left side of the box and this is the right side of the box from left side the flux is going inward and from the right side the flux is going outward so here there is a consideration that if the flux is going inside the surface that flux is uh, denoted as the positive flux and if it is coming out of the surface concerned surface okay then that flux is known as negative flux thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like the video i request you uh, that to share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification tab so that you will get the notification whenever i upload any video any new video on youtube thank you again